If you didn't hear about this, not sure how you couldn't. But earlier this week, the United States military was out just doing what they do, okay? Doing what they do on the East Coast and testing out like an AI-driven, computer-based, optionless driver, non-remote control because we have technology that's smart enough to fly a fighter uh, jet-based fighter jet that costs about $100 million. Um, They were testing it out. They were flying it. Something went wrong. Okay, a little thing flashed up on the screen. Something's wrong. Eject. So then the pilot of the fighter jet, the real life human that was inside of it, had to eject, right? Just to save his life, make sure nothing went wrong. The jet could have exploded. He could have died. So he ejects and then parachute opens up and little buddy safely lands, I think, in someone's house or something like that. I don't know. He lands to safety. The pilot's fine. The issue is what happens, he's not flying a regular jet. Usually when the jet malfunctions, the pilot ejects and then the jet crashes nearby because something was wrong with the jet and then the jet explodes. You know what I mean? This time, is this one jet, this jet, this is a smart jet. It's a smart aviation jet from the US military with like missiles and shit on it that we use for military things to blow things up with because that's what we need in this country is an AI driven military jet that costs a hundred million dollars. So now the jet is aimlessly flying around the East coast somewhere for about five to six hours the other day. And no one really knew where it was. No one, not a single, not a single man, a single woman in the military in charge of this plane on the team in charge of it. Not a single person, not a single asset of the United States government thought, Oh, let's add GPS to it. Maybe we could, does anyone have an air tag? Could we toss in an iPhone? Like find my friends. Let's see if maybe just in case something goes wrong, we don't lose the 80 million, hundred million dollar jet. Let's maybe put in a contingency plan just in case so we don't lose it. Does anyone have a $30 air tag for the hundred million dollar jet? No. None to spare. They're all sold out at the Apple store. Great. Uh, well, looks like we're going to do the test without GPS, folks. Like, not a not a single nothing. Like, if my Mazda gets stolen, I can pinpoint it down to the exact inch on this planet. Like, it, the, the Mazda has GPS. It's not even a Tesla. And I know where the car is at any given time if someone, if it goes rogue or someone tries to steal it or it gets taken somewhere. I know where the car is at all times, but when it comes to the $100 million aviation fighter jet that we use for military exercises, we don't know where it is. So for about five hours, uh, the military shut down all planes, no more fighter jets could take off to avoid any crashes or catastrophes, because who knows? The uh, AI jet is now in like zombie mode, they said. It's just kind of hovering around. It's just kind of flying in like what it thinks is like a safe pattern somewhere until maybe inevitably it runs out of fuel and then crashes to the ground. So that's what they're just waiting on. They grounded all planes and we're waiting on now the zombie jet to just kind of run out of fuel and crash. And eventually the plane crashed and where better for the plane that the military just lost. It costs a hundred million dollars to crash. than in the middle of South Carolina in the middle of a field. And what you would expect is that the local news of that South Carolina town immediately, immediately showed up and interviewed the people that found the plane. And I mean, uh, it's what you can, uh, it's, 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 it's what, it's what you can expect from this type of situation. In the bathroom taking a shave. And I heard a a screeching, saw that between a screech and a whistle. I said, what in the world is this? And I heard, boom. In my whole house, sure. So basically, the fighter jet, okay, was around, near and around this man's house. This is Ronald uh, Randolph White. Randolph White heard and saw the salt, the whole thing. He was in his bathroom shaving, and then all of a sudden, I heard a, a screeching, saw that between a screech and a whistle. <laughs> and that's what happened. So then he decided, you know what, we should probably. We should probably call the police. 
We should probably call the police. And by the way, dude, it's such an American-based story, isn't it? It's such an American-based story. First of all, name one other government, one other country's government on this planet that would lose a $100 million fighter jet. You know what I mean? Uh, and then, and then even after that, even if another government would happen to lose a fighter jet, not being able to locate it. And then after exhausting pretty much all of their military and army resources, uh, the person and the first eyewitness on the scene that heard and saw the crash and the person that we have to describe everything that just happened within the last hour, because the U S military has not a clue of what's going on. We have Randolph White. Reaching, saw that between a screech and a whistle. You know, and it's just like, this is the news now. This is the news. These are the people that go viral on the news. And thank goodness we found the plane. Thank goodness we found the plane. The plane has been found and returned to the U.S. military. And good news for everybody involved. Because we lost the plane, the United States government has now dedicated an extra $1.7 trillion to the exact program that the United States government is running to build these AI planes that we just lost. So we're going to get not only one, but an entire fleet of self-driving AI drone fighter jet planes that cost a hundred million dollars each to make and are optional to man. And we're going to spend $1.7 trillion on this program. The exact amount of money it would need to wipe out the entire student loan crisis.